hello everyone in today's videos we are going to solve this exponential equation 8 power x minus 4 power x is equal to 18 and we have to find the value of the x which satisfy this equation let us solve this we can write it as 8 power x 8 can be break down in terms of 2 we can write it as 2 power 3 bracket power x minus 4 can be written as 2 power 2 bracket power x is equal to 18 now in the next step we can write it as 2 power uh, 3 of x minus 2 power 2 of x is equal to 18 or we can write it as 2 power x bracket 3 minus 2 power x bracket 2 is equal to 18 we know that a power n bracket power m is equal to a power m bracket power n. Now, in the next step, we can write it as 2 power x bracket power 3 minus 2 power x bracket power 2 minus 18 is equal to 0. Now, we can write it as 2 power x bracket power 3 minus 2 power x bracket power 2 minus 18 can be written as 27 27 plus 9 is equal to 0 minus 27 plus 9 it become minus 18 now in the next step let us consider 2 power x is equal to y now this equation will become y power 3 minus y power 2 minus 27 plus 9 is equal to 0 now in the next step we can write it as y cube minus y square minus 27 can be written as 3 power cube plus 9 can be written as 3 power 2 is equal to 0. Now in the next step we can write it as y cube minus 3 cube minus y square plus 3 square is equal to 0. Now we can write it as y cube minus 3 cube bracket minus y square minus 3 square is equal to 0. Now we know that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Now in this uh, terms here a is equal to y and b is equal to 3 on substituting the values we get a minus b means that y minus 3 times a square means that y square plus a b means that y times 3 plus b square b square means that 3 square bracket minus y square minus 3 square is equal to 0. Now we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Here a is equal to y and b is equal to 3. On using this identity we get now this will become y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y plus uh, 3 square means that 9 bracket minus is a plus b means that y plus 3 bracket a, a minus b means that y minus 3 bracket is equal to 0. No, in the next step we can take out y minus 3 from this term as well as from this term out we get y minus 3 bracket 
here remaining y square plus 3y plus 9 minus y plus 3 y plus 3 bracket is equal to 0 now we have y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y plus 9 minus y minus 10 plus it become minus 3 is equal to 0 no it become y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y minus y plus 9 minus 3 is equal to 0 which implies no y minus 3 bracket here remaining y square plus 3y minus y it become plus 2y plus 9 minus 3 it become plus 6 is equal to 0 no we can compare both the term to 0 we get y minus 3 is equal to 0 or y square plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 which implies y is equal to 3 or we can take its determinant means that determinant equal to b square minus 4 is c here b, b means 2 a means 1 and c is equal to 6 on using this the value of a b c we get our determinant equal to b square means that 2 square minus 4 times a means 1 and c means 6 it is equal to 4 minus 6 times 4 it become 24 is equal to minus 20 and minus 20 is less than 0 which means that it has no real root that's the only value of y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 but remember that we have y is equal to 2 power x we substitute the value of the y we get in place of y we put 2 power x which means that 2 power x is equal to 3 on taking log on both sides we get log of 2 power x is equal to log of 3 we know that log of a power x is equal to x log of a and using this identity we get x log of 2 is equal to log of 3 now on dividing both sides by log of 2 which gives out x log of 2 divided by log of 2 is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2 now we can cancel out this log of 2 by this log of 2 which implies x is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2 now we know that on the logarithm property log of a divided by log of b is equal to log of a with base b on using this identity we get x is equal to log of 3 with base 2 which is the required value of the x which satisfy our given equation if you are new here make sure that you to subscribe our channel for more informative video see you in the next video till then bye